Hello and welcome to Scott's Garage. I've got a couple of things to get into today, but first of all, I want to tell you that I got my old boots back from the boot repair guy, Mr. Lee, uh, from Lee's Shoe Repair in Cyprus, and I'll show them to you right here. So these are my old boots. I got them resold, probably paid more money than I should have. I probably could have bought a new pair of boots for uh, about the same price. But I like the idea of recycling something. You know, don't just throw it away and buy something new. If you can repair it, repair it. It's kind of the theme of this whole uh, <laughs> show here. This whole channel is taking old stuff, fixing them so that they work. And I kind of feel good about that, uh, that boots have new life and I didn't throw another pair of shoes into the landfill. So let's get back to what we're going to work on today. So you noticed my ADT sign kind of old and dirty. That's because it's been sitting out in front of our house for decades, literally. We have one in the back. We've had an ADT system for quite a long time, maybe almost 20 years, I guess, something like that. So uh, we've been a loyal customer of them for a long time. We really have never called them for an emergency. They have the call service where if there's, you know, a break-in or whatever, they'll, they'll call us and we'll tell them where, you know, whether the alarm went off and you know, there's no problem or hey there's a big problem send the police or the fire or whatever like that so it's just kind of a security security with us and um, like I said we we use the system every day when we leave the house or at night when we go to sleep we lock it up and uh, we turn on the security system and it gives us a sense of security and um, even though we've never really had a problem and uh, we live in a pretty safe neighborhood but I got this email from ADT uh, just recently, a couple of days ago, it says, please note that we're making a necessary increase to your bill to help us continue to deliver the world-class security technology and service you expect as a loyal ADT customer. Your rate for monitoring service will increase by $3.39 per month. So that brings the total to about 33 bucks a month just for them to sit there and not answer my phone calls. <laughs> and I guess that's okay, but there are a lot of other sy systems like Simply Safe where you set it up, doors, windows, motion, you know, it, uh, smoke alarm, window breakage sensors, and all that kind of stuff. Everything that you've got, cameras, and uh, it will send you a a little message to your phone, and you can choose to call the police yourself, or if somebody, you know, if the kids are not turning off the alarm, or you have guests or something. You can deal with it like that versus uh, just them calling somebody, them having a call center that sits there waiting for your call, which to me in this day and age doesn't really make much sense anymore. So I think technology, I don't think they're the world class technology anymore. It's very, our ADT system is very old school. I'm sure they have newer ones, but uh, I'm not really interested in that monitoring service anymore. So I mentioned Simply Safe. That's one of the big ones. Um, I'm a very big fan of Amazon, and I have the Echo Alexa uh, smart speaker system. And so they have a connection with Ring. And so what I did is I went ahead and I bought a Ring security system. It's right here. It's supposed to have everything that we need to secure our house. And so. The idea was I'm going to keep the ADT system going and then uh, install this and when this is up and running then I'll go ahead and cancel the ADT system. And so this is a ring camera system, uh, from, it's supposed to work with Alexa so it'd be kind of nice to say hey Alexa arm the system or disarm the system or something like that. And it'd be nice to have an app on my phone which I assume they have and I can get, you know, I can see the video feed in the house or outside the house or the front. And I just, I'm expecting to kind of be able to do all those kind of things with the system. And so let's unbox it and see, um, see what we get for a system 14 pieces, around $325, supposed to do a house that's like two to four bedroom house, you know, your average size house, which is kind of the average suburban kind of house that we have. So let's see what this is. If you want to get to the unboxing, you can fast forward this section uh, where we get right to unboxing this and seeing, but 
what I kind of wanted to do is talk about my philosophy of security. And my philosophy of security is don't really have anything that anybody wants to steal. Me being a fix-it guy, I tend to have a lot of old stuff and I fix it when it breaks and I don't really buy the latest and greatest new stuff. And um, I kind of keep things going because I'm cheap. And I figure if there's no incentive, like keeping your house clean will prevent rodents and cockroaches, right? So if we don't want the human equivalent of rodents and cockroaches coming into our house, we just don't keep any food around, you know, crumbs breadcrumbs thrown about so we don't have anything like any expensive jewelry this is about the most expensive piece of jewelry that we have in the house and it's always on my thing anyway that's my theory on home security just don't have anything that anybody wants and i don't know why anybody would come in and then it's a pain in the ass to get in and the security system's going to go blaring and the dog's going to be barking and the owner's probably going to be very upset at me and uh probably come at you with a crowbar and uh, a handgun so you know. there you go sun boxes obviously came from amazon and uh yeah. let's see what's inside oh by the way so for some of you have noticed i switched to tea just regular black tea trying to get away from the soda save myself a few calories Okay, it says, sold as bundled, do not break open. Okay, once again, box in a box. Box in a box. Okay, looks like there's some batteries. And we're getting to a smaller box. Not really sure what to expect here. It's uh, okay. So this is ring keypad. All right, that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, then we have a bunch of little boxes. Contact sensors, so ooh, they're like magnetic. Huh, okay. So these are for the windows and doors, I guess. So put those over there. Oh, then a motion. Okay, you can put that. Um, you know, in the room when we're not home and if there's any motion oh so it looks like what <sighs> looks like what they did is it's sort of like a home pack and then they added to make it like a bigger pack so this is uh, okay so it has an app Looks like motion, more of the contact sensors, another keypad, and maybe a base station. So let's open this up and see what uh, what more it looks like. So I could start reading the directions, but I think what I'm going to do is just kind of like start opening these things and see what they look like. Looks like cool packaging. Cool packaging, but I don't really know how it's supposed to open. Oh, well, this looks like a standard, a standard um, door and door or window catch, not catch, would it be sensor? So, oh, you have this you pull out to activate the battery and maybe an on off switch. And then you have one on the door and one on the jam kind of deal. Okay. So that's that. So four of those. I imagine motion detector is probably kind of the same deal. Okay, yep. It, I guess that's an on-off switch. Oh, it's got some double stick tape and a, a little pull-out that starts the battery. Okay, that makes sense. And then keypad mountable. Mountable keypad for a ring alarm. Okay, well, I'm not sure I want to mount it, but... Oh, I'll put it on the wall. Okay, got it. Oh, for those of you who have done the math from our our sister uh, channel, Investment Focus, 
the break even on this would be what 10 months $325 versus $330 to buy this. Wait, $325 to buy this versus $33 a month. About 10 months and this will break even. Other than after that, everything else is crazy. So we're always working on, you know, cost benefit analysis and break even and trying to save some money. So there's the financial portion of our show. Ooh, I like. Let's get started. Woo! Yeah. Let's get started. Oh boy, okay. So here, quick start. Make sure your ring alarm is disarmed. In the ring app, tap set up a device and find the keypad in the service device menu. Follow the in-app instructions to complete setup. Huh, sounds easy. Ooh, that's a cool keypad, ring. So you have police, fire, medical? I don't know, what is that called? The hospital or something? I don't know. Get out. You push the get out button <laughs> before you run. I don't know. Oh, it's pretty slim. That's pretty cool. Okay, and on the back it has like mounting for mounting it on the wall. I'll probably put it in the same place that the ADT keypad is. And this is probably, yeah, just a plug. So I think I can route this. Um, in the same way that the ADT is plugged in. And then it said it does have an internal battery, so if somebody cuts the power, some rascals cut the power, um, that will thwart them. It will still be armed, and our family will be safe. Okay, so this is what I've learned. This is the bracket that you put on the wall, and then you put the keypad in there, and it slides in there, and it locks. And then the keypad has a power right here, which hooks to this point in there. And then this has a USB, so you could use USB or it has a little plug. So I want to go see what the current one, if there's power behind it. I know I said I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to disassemble the old one till the new one was on. But since I'm going to put the keypad in the same place, let me go look at that. So, if you can kind of see, this is our HVAC system with a nice touchpad. It has a, an app on my phone and it's very futuristic. This is not. It's old and plasticky and it's all manual. And uh, pretty sad looking. So let's see if I can take it off the wall and see if there's some power behind it. I hope so. Okay, so I pulled this off here. I don't think I broke anything, but I wasn't really too careful and uh, it has a bunch of wires that don't look like power wires but we could um, run the power in through there and uh, let's see where this goes okay so in through the wall goes in this closet right there then it goes around the back of the closet and then all of this this whole box is like the ADT system. What in the world? And then there's another thing up here. And then there's a plug here. I think this ancient old plug. I think that's it. So I think we have power as long as the cable would go uh, that far. Which really isn't that far if it went around over there. I might have to add a little extension to it but I think we're probably in good shape. Okay, so today is a momentous day in the garage. These days don't happen very often. My trusty razor blade scraper that I've had for many years. I wonder how many miles of scraping I've done with this. The end is really wore out and it just, it gave its all to help me scrape things over many, many years. Probably decades, I would guess. But, uh, broke down. Bought a new scraper with blades. Look right here, with blades. So, happy day. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you're gonna install your new ring security system is, first thing you do is download the app. So go to the app store, download the app, Create an account, and uh, then once you have the app on your phone, then everything kind of starts rolling really fast. Uh, let's go over 
to where we where our Wi-Fi router is in the den and uh, I'll show you the installation of the base station. That's the first thing you have to do. So this is the ring base station. It's in our den. You remember from the roof repair video, this is where the roof was leaking. But anyway, we have our Wi-Fi router right there and you, you recognize the base station from the unboxing video. And it's really straightforward. You just plug it into power. It has a little power cable and then I plugged the Ethernet into the back of our router. I thought that might be like the best way to get the full signal rather than do it, but it can, you can do it wireless but by entering your network and the network password and all that. But once I plugged this in, then the whole thing was going. It, it, uh, rec it looked up on the internet, it uh, knew what it was doing, and it um, came up on my phone that, oh, you're installing a ring system. And then it all just kind of came really fast. On the other side of the house, kind of as far away as I could get, I installed this extender. That's the white box on the top. That's an extender. And what it does is it extends the, the Wi-Fi signal all around the house. And as soon as I plugged it in, that linked to the base station and everything was happening. Then I put up the uh, motion detector and in the corner of the main room. I took down the old sensors and put up the new ones. And uh, actually getting the old sensors off was the big job and all the glue and everything that was on there. Uh, that was, that's what took all the time. Once I got that all cleaned up, just putting, you put the magnet on the, on this side or the sensor and then the main unit here. And as soon as I did that, well, what you, there's like a plastic pull tab that you pull out, which activates the battery. And as soon as you do that, then it links up with the base station and says, hi, I'm here. Let's, uh, let's be friends. And then when you open this up, uh, you can hear the base station and the, and the extender beeping that that door opened. So it's just a process of putting these on every door and window. Um, I kind of ran out of them because we have a lot of doors and windows. And, um, and so I ordered six more. So I have one on the kitchen and then there's another door over here that we put them up. And so uh, six more and that's going to take care of all the doors and windows in the whole house. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to install a window sensor, but the doors, the door sensors are exactly the same and pretty much everything else mounts the same, the motion detectors, whatever. It's kind of a peel and stick deal. So let me just back up a little bit so I can show you kind of what the window is. This is a bay window in the front of our house. And what you want to do here is you have to find a moving part and a stationary part. So we have a stationary part here and we have moving part here and this moves. So I think I'm going to mount the sensor part here and the, I could actually just put the sensor on that. Although I've always put the sensors on the sliding part. I don't think you really, I don't think it really matters, but anyway, um, they're in there. And so when I open the window, it will go off. Sound good? So the unit comes like this. It's kind of two pieces. And you just rip that off. And then this is that tab that I'm going to pull that out when I'm ready to install it. And that kind of like removes the barrier to the contacts of the battery. And then um, lets it start. I think this is just a magnet. So kind of there in there. Is how it's going to go and what they want you to do is to go to the app and add a new piece of equipment and scan the barcode so let me try that first i've always just installed the other ones and just kind of did it afterwards but let's try to do it the way they say to do it okay so i went to the app and i told them i was going to add this new you know you can just identify it by picture and then it wanted me to scan the barcode, so the barcode would be like right here, with my fingers blocking it. And then they want you to pull this tab. So 
this activates it. Oop, see, the light's on just like that. And um, then pull the tapes and put it on. Let's do that. I'm pulling off the tape, or the protector for the tape, I should say. And then I'm just gonna kinda position it here, maybe about here. That it has to be within one inch. So just kind of pushing that on. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the, as a little arrow to show where to pull. And then I'm going to install this kind of about here. And just push it. And when I open the window, the alarm goes off. Well, the notification. And that's it. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. The other fun thing was, since this is Ring, it works with Amazon and your Alexa smart speaker. And you can activate your alarm with the smart speaker with a code and you can deactivate it. Um, it will, it also listens for uh, glass breaking. So if some glass is breaking while the system's armed, it will send you a notice on your phone. Everything works through your phone. Anytime anything happens, it gives you a notice on your phone. And then it even has some cool stuff like um, if you know the, you have the camera outside and if it senses that somebody's skulking around on the outside of your house, it can play a, a loud barking dog noise through the smart speaker to try to scare the people off. I think that's pretty fun. There's a ton of other features and cool things that it can do. It's really no end. It's easy to set up at a basic level for, for those people like me. And then it's fun to go through and like set up all the bells and whistles. Uh, and it can sure do all those things. And that's fun for other people. Too. So that's really it in terms of installation. Uh, let's see, the all those little sensors on the doors and windows, they just you peel off the back. It has some double stick tape on there, you peel off the backing and it just sticks right on there. It's super easy, it's like five seconds. Like I said, getting the old ones off, that was that took a long time. They didn't been on there for a long time. And once you get all of your sensors in place, your motion, your cameras, everything, it all just sort of links to that base station, which is all linked to your phone. And then you can sit there on your phone and you can just tell everything that's going on in the house. and. You know, it's it, it's really, I don't want to sound like a salesperson for Ring, but after doing it myself, and I'm not a very technical person at all, uh, and just a, I'm just a regular guy, garage guy, and uh, so technical stuff can be a little intimidating. It was really easy. It, all, it was like, you just put it on, and um, as soon as the power hits it, it all connects, and then everything is kind of secure. So it gives a, gives a real nice secure feeling when we're home at night, turning it on, or when we do leave the house and turning it on, we would know immediately if any door and window or anybody was coming around or if there's any any uh, you know broken windows or anything like that. And we would know immediately. You, know, just, you can call the police. So it gives you kind of a nice safe feeling. It wasn't expensive and uh, big fan, big fan. Okay, that was all the good stuff. So now, I don't know whether you're wondering, but there's still that thing out there of what happened when you called ADT. So we had been a customer of ADT for 11 years. I didn't know it had been that long, but they told me on the phone that we'd been a customer for 11 years. And I was on hold for 47 minutes before I got to talk to an actual real human being, uh, which is a long time. And uh, once I did talk to somebody, uh, they tried several different things to get me to keep the system. If you remember, they, the, they upped my price to $33 a month. Well, they offered me $21.99 a month. I think something like that. $21 or $22, something like that, a month. So I'm like, well, you were going to charge me $33, and now it's $21. So you were just going to charge me that extra all this time, and you really didn't need to. But now I'm leaving, and, and I basically just said, you know what? I already installed the system. It's already active. Yours is deactivated. Uh, do you want your equipment back? And they said no, because it's all a bunch of old junk. And they were nice about it at that point and said, okay, we'll, we'll cancel your system. And hopefully they stop billing me. That's the next thing I have to do is make sure that it's, it, 
I'm not getting the recurring bill on the on my uh, statement every month and so we'll see um, let me show you the pile of equipment that I took off because that's what again taking off the old stuff was what took the time so I had to go around take off all the sensors there was like it was like boxes everywhere of electronics and backup battery and there was this giant box metal box in the closet that had ADT on it and and all this stuff so let me let me show you that right now so this is the pile of all the stuff that came off all the wiring the different circuit board boxes and all the sensors that's a lot of stuff and um, yeah they didn't want any of it back so so I think that just about wraps it up uh, I think that was a successful build uh, it, it's a nice system it's more modern gives us a lot more features I'm not paying the monthly every month so it's gonna save us a lot of money uh, in the long run the panels look good the control panels look really good I guess I didn't show you that but um, you, you saw it in the in the unwrapping video and it just looks like that but on the wall and anyway but it looks real cool and I like you know how it works and and Lily's really happy with the whole system so all in all I think a big success and um, I'm gonna call that done and thanks for watching <laughs>